Hello my friends and welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. If you haven't already subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps to support the channel. It helps me to put out more videos and more content. Now, a few days ago I was watching a YouTube video on Brooks Drag Times YouTube channel. By the way, it's a great channel. You should check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. And it was kind of a rematch of sorts. Now, not long ago, Brooks himself had the top model Tesla Model S Raven and he took on the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. It was a really close race with the Taycan Turbo S kind of very, very, very narrowly taking out the title. Well, in my opinion, because in different races, both cars performed better in different ways. But I think in, when it came down to it, the Porsche Taycan Turbo, which by the way is not an ice vehicle, doesn't use diesel or petrol, it's actually electric, but for some bizarre reason, Porsche decided to call it a turbo. It doesn't have a turbo. Anyway, I do like the car. It's great. One of the great things about it is that many Porsche fans who would otherwise have bought a petrol car are buying the Taycan. In fact, enormous numbers of them are buying the Taycan instead of Porsche's other offerings, which is awesome news. Anyway, getting back to the drag race, the rematch. In the rematch, as you can see in the video, the Tesla Model S Plaid absolutely destroyed the Taycan. It wasn't even close. The difference is astronomical. Now, we're going to see this battle go backwards and forwards over the next few years. I'm sure Porsche right now is working on a faster version. I'm sure they were humbled a little bit, as was potentially Tesla when they saw their fastest car wasn't really the fastest anymore. It had a competitor that was similarly as fast that pushed Tesla to work hard on their new vehicle to improve their batteries, to improve their motors. And this is what's going to push Porsche to improve. But interestingly, during the video, the owner of the Porsche pulled out his phone and made a very, very expensive purchase decision on the spot, right there on the spot, he bought the new Tesla Model S Plaid. Now, they actually faced off three times in a drag race, and every time, of course. The Tesla Model S Plaid, which is just light years faster than really anything else on the market, except for a Bugatti Chiron, which it still beats as well, by the way, just destroyed the Porsche in every race. Now, one of the test drivers, Jason, said the Porsche was destroyed by the Tesla, adding, it's not even fair. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, really, the Tesla's a bigger car. It's more of a family car, in fact. It's a four-door family sedan. So I think it's more than fair. Anyway. The main host of the YouTube channel, Brooks Weisblatt, who has a collection of V8 and electric cars and supercars, said of his Tesla Model S Plaid, the most common thing when I take people for a ride, they say this should be illegal. So anyway, the video shows the owner of the Porsche Taycan, who was on the sidelines watching the drag races, ordering a Tesla Model S Plaid over the phone after witnessing his car being, well, outgunned and I would say humiliated. So, both cars are the fastest EVs produced by Tesla and Porsche, respectively, and they can get to 100 kilometers an hour in less than three seconds. The Plaid can do it in about 1.99, or around about two, maybe, if we're talking about 0 to 100, around about 2.1 seconds, 0 to 60 miles an hour, 1.99, whereas the Taycan, it's more like around about 2.6 seconds. Now, the Tesla Model S Plaid costs US 124000 or Australian 168000 but it's not yet on sale in Australia. I believe it will go on sale in Australia in 2022 and many other countries such as the UK and Europe as well. The Porsche Taycan Turbo S is actually on sale in Australia right now and it costs $346,000. $346,000. You can imagine the Tesla will probably cost around about 180000 meaning the Porsche costs twice as much. Hmm, I'm not sure about that value proposition, but I still do prefer Porsche owners to go for an electric vehicle, so that is a better choice than picking a petrol version, that's for sure. So for those of you who don't know, the Tesla Model S Plaid has three electric motors with a combined output of 1,020 horsepower, while the Porsche Taycan Turbo S has two electric motors with a combined output of 750 horsepower. Now, I personally believe Tesla is lying flat out lying to you lying to me lying to everyone they know the Taycan probably does have 750 horsepower but they know that 
the Tesla Model S Plaid doesn't have 1,020 horsepower. For it to go as fast as it is, it has to have more than that. I just think it's a mathematical impossibility that this car can go as fast as it can with only 1,000 horsepower. I know that sounds, it's a lot of power, but I still think it's got more than that. I think maybe it's got more like 1,100 to 1,200 horsepower. Anyway, can't prove that, but maybe someone will do a dyno test for me and then we can prove it. Now remember, while the video shows that in one of the races, the Tesla Model S Plaid got a head start and the Porsche looks like it is getting off to a slow start, the timing system on a drag strip doesn't start recording each car until they actually start and then finish over the finish line. So it makes no difference when it starts and ends. It just makes a difference in your perception, but not in the actual finishing times. So for the finishing times over the quarter mile, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S did 10.42 seconds with a top speed of 129.9 miles per hour in its first run. Second run it did 10.39, and its third run it did 10.37. Whereas the Tesla Model S Plaid, on its first run when it wasn't running in launch mode, did 9.67. Its second run when it, when it was in launch mode did 9.36, and its third run did 9.34. But the current world record for a production series car is held by the Tesla Model S Plaid and that time is 9.09, 9.09. That is insane. And what's even more insane, guys, is think about this. It won't be long before Tesla do a little over-the-air software update and just increase the power by 5%, as they have done a number of other times across Tesla's entire range. Entire range, Tesla's done that. So it'd be very, very unusual if that didn't happen at some point over the next 12 months. Just imagine how insanely fast it'll be then. Now guys, I know a lot of you don't care about speed, but remember, this is a giant smackdown to ice. Petrol, diesel, noise, no longer means fast, it now means slow. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye bye.